Welcome back YouTube to a super exciting video. I am super hyped to bring you this series where I teach you what you can do to improve your gameplay and hopefully become really, really, really good. What we're gonna do is we're gonna strip it back all the way to the basics. So if you're new at the game, this is the perfect series for you to watch, for you to figure out what settings you should have, how you should go about playing, how you should go about learning. This is for you. So let's just jump right into it. So first and foremost, what's really important is your settings, your controller settings. This will be a controller only video. I'm not a mouse and key player. I have no experience on mouse and key, therefore I can't speak on you know, what the Good settings and the bad settings are but there are people out there that can do it for you but for the controller players out here your sensitivity is something that is super 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 important i've been playing around with my sensitivity a lot uh recently so Sometimes, you know, you're in a point where you feel like you're kind of missing a couple bullets and you're like, man, like I don't really know like what, what's going on. Just play with your sensitivity. I can help so much. There was a point where I was playing on like, I think it was like 1212 sensitivity like a couple years ago. And now I'm older and I can't be playing on like crazy sins like that because then I just lose myself. So I lowered my sense. If you're newer to first person shooters, if you're newer and you, you can't handle like the whole like moving around crazy, probably want something a little lower. Probably want something around maybe a four, a five. I think a six is maybe pushing it. Maybe a four and a five and you start with that until you get really used to it. And then if you want to try a higher sensitivity, you can bump up a bit. A really great way to test out your sensitivity and if you feel confident in your sensitivity is to go into a multiplayer private lobby. Just put yourself in a lobby with a bunch of bots. All right, so ideally you want to do a free for all. Throw it on like a super small map. So something like a like a shipment or something. You're going to want to do an unlimited time. Or I guess 45 minutes. Just max out everything. And then just to add AI, you just press square. You do the amount of AI. So maybe around eight. Recruit because we're just working on our aim here. We don't care if somebody's shooting at us. And then you just start it. So if you're not confident in your sensitivity, this is a great way to test it out to see if you're shooting swigglies all around the place. Now, if you don't have MW3 and you just have Warzone, what you can do is you can go into either a plunder or you can either go into a plunder or a, lo or a lockdown quad. Those are two game modes where you constantly come back. So that would be a really good way to test your aim, but you are also playing against real people in that. So just keep that in mind. Okay, now we are shooting bots. I'm like, hmm, I feel like maybe my sensitivity is a little bit too high. So then you go back into your controller settings. Go, okay, let's try 7-7. Seven, seven. Now, something that's really amazing as well is that you could have a super high sensitivity, but then when you're shooting at somebody, you're like, man, like it just feels like this is too high. Like, I feel like, you know, like, oh man, like once I'm ADS, I just feel like, oh man, like I'm, I'm, I'm missing all my shots. So that might mean is that your ADS sensitivity is a little bit too high for you. What you do, you go into your settings, you go ADS sensitivity multiplier. So a one here would mean that when you're aiming down the site, that your sensitivity is the same as the one above. So it would be like a seven, seven sense, like while you're ADS. Like, you see how fast I can move, like, when I'm ADS'd? See? Now, if I were to lower this, let's go all the way to, like, a 0.4. When I go to ADS, you see how I can't move nearly as fast? So this means that once I'm ADS'd, it's much slower and I have much more control when I'm trying to shoot at somebody. So if you like to be able to spin around and you like to be able to look around really, really fast, but once you aim in, you're like, man, I'm really struggling on this high of a sense, just lower your ADS sensitivity. That will allow you to have more control while you're ads while still being able to move around. Now, I don't recommend usually having like a huge difference between your ADS and your regular sensitivity. Like I have mine on 0.75, but mine's just a little bit slower. See, when I, ADS than my regular sensitivity, which is like this. But whatever you're comfortable with, that's what it comes down to. The most important part is that you feel good with your sensitivity. And I would always recommend to probably start a little lower and then work your way up. Because the last thing that you want is to have a sensitivity that's too high and then you just can't shoot straight. Get used to the lower ones and then build your way up. Another super important setting that I find incredibly useful, not everybody uses this, but this is something that I use that I feel like really helps me in my overall gameplay is to put weapon mount activation as double tap ADS. So what the double tap ADS means 
to mount is that you see right here, I have a surface that I can mount on. What this means is that when I go to mount, I double tap my L2, this button right here, and I automatically go into a mounted position. This allows me to never have to move my fingers off of my thumbstick. So I could be in the middle of a gunfight like this. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, like whoa, whoa, whoa. And then I can mount and then boom, I have that much more control in the gunfight. Another super important setting is the interact slash reload behavior. So as you, as you can see right here on the screen, you have four different options. You have tap to reload, tap to interact, prioritize interact, and prioritize reload. When you are playing Warzone specifically, you want to put prioritize interact on. You want to be able to pick up loot quickly. That's what makes the looting in the middle of a gunfight really, really fast. It's like, oh man, like I'm missing some AR ammo. Oh, I just killed a guy. Let me go pick up some AR ammo or I want spare AR ammo or I want spare smokes or something. Like you can pick that up incredibly quickly with prioritize interact. All you have to do is if you have a bunch of loot around you and you want to reload, you just have to hold square to, to reload. But I'm telling you that in Warzone, you're doing a majority of looting. Like you want to be able to loot quickly. You want to be able to spam where and pick everything up out of a box at the beginning of the game. When you have like five people landing on you, you don't want to have to hold and press for all of the loot that slows you down. I'll show you an example right here of what I mean by that. Here's a bunch of loot, right? With prioritize interact, look at how fast that I can pick up all of this stuff. Just spamming my square button. See, I picked all that stuff up. Now I swap to prioritize reload. All right, so with prioritize reload, because I just shot two bullets, I have to reload before I pick something up or I have to press and hold square to pick it up. So here, see, look, I'm pressing square. And do you see how much slower that is? Whereas, if I was trying to spam, I have to reload first with prioritize reload. See? Okay. I'll show you guys again. I just shot two bullets, I have to reload. I have to do the reload animation before I pick up loot. Now what the what happens is that when you're in the middle of a gunfight and you're trying to pick something up, your gun is trying to reload, you're trying to pick something up, you're trying to put on a plate, it just wastes more time. So this is why you want to do prioritize interact so that when see, I don't have to go through the reload animation before I do anything. I just pick up and then after the fact, I can reload. Okay. Again, I just shot my gun and I can still pick everything up and then reload after the fact. That is a super important setting because when you're in the mix and when you're in the middle of fighting, that really will go a long way. Another very, very, very important setting that I think a lot of people forget is your dead zone input. So where you can go to find this, you go to controller, it's in the first column, you scroll all the way down to dead zone inputs right here. Automatically, I think the default is that this, the left stick min and the right stick min are, are at 99 as well. But anyway, they're like super, super high. You wanna put the dead zone minimum as low as you can possibly do it because then there will be less of a delay. The, the higher it goes, your max, it doesn't matter what your max is, but your for your minimum, you wanna put it as low as you can go because then you're gonna avoid having that, those controller delays. So it really, really helps with responsiveness of your controller. So make sure to put on your dead zone lower, your dead zone minimum to lower. That is it for super crucial controller settings. Now, if you guys think of something else and you guys have any questions, you can ask them down below and I can make a video about them. But those are like the main little tiny settings that can make such a big difference in your gameplay. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.